right here. In this video, we are going to do a two-tone powder. So what's the difference between a two-tone and a two-stage? Well, a two-stage is usually a base color with a top color, whether that be a clear coat or like a transparent type of color, a candy, if you will. On this one, we're actually going to do two colors, one part. The customer wants the middle SRT with the uh, Hellcat image in white, and then the cars in red. So we're going to spray our white layer first, going to tape it off, spray our red color second, and get in the oven. So watch along to see how we do this. All right, let's get started. Today we're going to be using our Eastwood gun. Um, again, like uh, some of our other videos, it's easier when you're switching colors and doing small parts and not messing around with the big gun. So again, we're only doing the middle and white, so I'm not going to worry about full coverage. If it gets it, it gets it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Our part's grounded to the boot. The boot's grounded over here. Let's get straight. Now, because it has hard lines, it's going to want to pull away from them. So we're going to probably coat it, shove it in the oven, let it gel out, and then coat it again with white. My pan's not on, so the cloud's kind of hanging, but that's just so you can hear it. So we have really good coverage there. We're going to get it in the oven, let it gel out. We'll pull it out and check it to see if the uh, edges pull where the, the paint will actually, as it flows, it'll pull off those hard edges. If that happens, we'll pull it out. We'll spray it again to get it some more coverage. Put it back in, let it get a full, well, about 60% cure, 70%, and then we'll tape it off and do the rest. Okay, just came out of the oven here. Um, the hard lines are all but gone, which is great. You do have a little bit of thickness on the edge, but it's a sign it's not a tolerance issue, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And what we're gonna do now is let it dr or dry, let it cool down, and then we will begin taping it off for the second layer. All right, guys, so here we've got the sign. We've got the middle part in white. We're going to tape off that part so that we can keep it white. And then we're going to do the rest in red. I've just got a typical uh, painter's tape here. Um, so what I'm going to do now, because I'm using an Eastwood gun, is I'm going to go heat it up just a little bit um, and let it let the tape melt just a bit on the onto the piece. Um, so we'll probably go hang it up. We're going to blow it off with air. Then we're going to run it into the oven, let it heat up a little bit to make sure this this tape isn't sticking very well for some reason. Uh, but we're going to heat it up and then we'll pull it out, hit it with red, and then we'll send it back through the oven. Again, with an Eastwood gun, this is not ideal, but if you uh, take your time and work at it a little bit. We did allow the part to cool back down, by the way. And it seems to be taking the powder pretty well. I like to do just a light coating because if you pull the trigger too hard, you'll end up blowing a lot of it off. Then you kind of got to get creative here around the hook. And we might actually, we're having trouble getting it in there because of where the hook's hitting. So a little trick you can try and do is take a hook. I need a clean one, but I don't have one. And switch them out. 
And you can see that spot there, so now we'll hit that. And it's covered. So that is done. We have decent coverage on the back side. I'm gonna do just a little bit more to make sure that no rust comes out of it. So now we're gonna go put it in the oven for just a little bit to get it to gel out a hair. And then once that's done, we'll pull it out, let it cool, remove the tape and put it back in for the full cure. The reason you wanna do that is because if you leave the tape on there for the full cure, number one, it's not heat tape, so it's not gonna make it. It's gonna start melting and leaving the adhesive everywhere. And that's the second reason is you don't want the adhesive left on that white part. So we're gonna go put it in the oven, let it gel out, pull it out, let it cool, carefully remove that tape, and we're done. Okay, these were only in there like two or three minutes, and as you can see, it's flowed out enough that we've let it cool. We're gonna just take off the tape now. All right, guys, so here's the two-tone sign. Came out decent. There's a couple little flaws, but not too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and saran wrap it up and get it off to the customer. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check us out on all of our other videos.